It's the Bachelor finale, and boy as Zach tried his best to fumble the ball at the one-yard line. And for this final episode, we're going to learn that sometimes making the honest choice is not always the kindest one. And with things down to only two women, will Zach stick with the one he was intimate with, or will he choose the woman many believe to have been his frontrunner all season? So, for the last time this season, let's check this preview out and see if we can puzzle together what goes down in the finale, who Zack is going to pick, and if there really is going to be a happy ending here. And, as per usual, please, no posting any outright spoilers in the comment section below unless you can back it up with sleuthing, and a link to the full, uninterrupted preview is in the description. It's the incredibly emotional season finale of The Bachelor. Last week with the overnights, I tried to do something that was trying to help everyone out and it honestly bit me in the ass. Alright, so to start next week off, we're going to be seeing the traditional Meet the Family dates, where each of the lead's final two come in to have a reverse hometown, but in whatever location the finale is filming. And my only question is, are we not gonna see Uncle Kronk? Are you telling me they cut him from episode 2 where apparently he was hosting a puppet show and now we won't be seeing him at all? Production has really lost touch with the people. But here, Zack seems to be filling his family in on all the drama from Fantasy Suites, saying he was trying to do something that was helping everybody out, but it bit him in the ass. And Zack trying to do the right thing is going to be a thread that goes through all of this finale. But, as we'll see, trying to do what's right doesn't always result in doing what's kindest. We saw that last episode with how he handled being brutally honest with Katie on their date, and we'll see more of it as we get further along in the preview. So, let's keep going. Both Katie and Gabby are still feeling upset with me. Do you regret the decision that you made with me? No. I want to try to fix and alleviate loss of trust. Okay, now here we can do some legit sleuthing. So one thing that tripped me up last week, apart from just downright not believing that Zack was going to actually break his no sex vow and cause all this mess, was this shot here where Zack says he doesn't regret what he did. Last week we didn't know what the context here was, which ended up being him having sex with Gabby, and I tied his blue outfit here to the one he was wearing during the day portion of his fantasy suite with Gabby. But but it's all making more sense to see that the blue shirt he's wearing in this conversation now matches with the one he's wearing during the day that Gabby will be meeting his family. So it's very interesting to see that this conversation, which does not look to be a fun one, where Gabby asks Zack if he regrets sleeping with her, is going to happen either before or after she meets his family. So prepare for drama. However, despite all that, these two will continue forward and have their date, as seen here. Historically, the Meet the Family dates always happen before they head out on this final date of the season. So, whatever happens here isn't enough to stop these two from going out and having a nice time horseback riding. But, let's continue on. I know it's scary, and it's hard. On the back of my head is like, what is he saying to Gabby? I know this is not what you want to hear, but it's like, I'm so torn. Like, it's the biggest decision of my life. We'll make the decision. All right, can I get a slow clap for Gabby? Slow clap for Gabby, everyone. <sighs> this is so stupid. My brother in Christ, stop talking about how torn you are. This is supposed to be your last date before potentially getting engaged to Gabby, and you're here talking about Katie like it's a coin flip as to who you're going to propose to. And I'll be real, I don't even care if Gabby is the one who brings this up. Because of course she might with how that rose ceremony went, and how he's handled telling the whole world about how guilty he feels for sleeping with her. If she brings it up, Zach should put it to rest and try to actually make the most of this date where you're supposed to be deciding if you're going to propose to this woman. That's my two cents. And really, what I think we're seeing here is one, that guilt coming back out in Zack that he talked about last episode, and two, a prime example that sometimes doing what you think is right isn't always right. Or at least, it isn't always the kindest thing. Because sure, being open and honest with Gabby that you're completely torn between her and Katie seems like the right thing to do. Honesty is the foundation of any good partnership. But humans are also nuanced creatures. And taking one look at her should tell you that what she needs right now isn't brutal honesty, 
but delicate honesty. Either that, or a time machine so you could go back and keep quiet instead of making a no-sex vow and just go through the week without saying a word like they did in the olden days of Bachelor Fantasy Suites. Oh, and we haven't even talked about Katie yet, who, on the other side of things, is having a hard time trusting Zack, despite him showing how brutally honest he is, simply because, after all of this, she can't stop thinking about what he might or might not be saying to Gabby. I mean, if he's on his knees and repenting to her for how guilty he feels, who knows what he could be doing with Gabby in order to make Gabby feel comforted through this. Kinda wild that we're here after two Bachelor seasons in a row of fantasy suite disasters going, maybe the best way to navigate through fantasy suites is to act like this. Johnny Tightlips, where'd they hit you? I ain't saying nothing. But well, what do I tell the doctor? Tell him to suck a lemon. Or, at the very least, keep your mouth shut until you find a moment to be honest off camera. But okay, let's keep the preview going. I'm sick of self-doubt. I'm sick of feeling like I don't know if I'm enough. Are you prepared for, like, if it does go, like, the other way? <sighs> Man, it's wild that Zack spent all season throwing out any source of drama the moment he found it, when all along, if he really wanted to keep things drama-free, he should have walked himself out the door night one. Now, in this section, the only thing I want to point out is Katie's dress here. All season, we've used this shot of Katie from the season previews to speculate that Katie was going to make it to the final two. Here's the clip. What I have with Zach is amazing, and I don't want it to go away. So here, Katie is in a setting that resembles Thailand, the place we knew was the final filming location, and she's talking about her relationship with Zach as if it were to someone other than Zach. You wouldn't say my relationship with my boyfriend or girlfriend is amazing to your boyfriend or girlfriend. So, it made sense that this would be her talking to Zack's family. But here, the dress she's wearing is different. So, I'm wondering if this is her talking to Jesse Palmer right at the end. Perhaps in a sit-down to go over the mess of the end of the season, or to talk about some doubts. But, alright, let's now finish off this preview, and then go over how this thing could end. Somebody at the end of this is gonna get hurt. caused pain. I, I've made mistakes. But standing here with the ring, I just hope that it's all worth it. So there the preview ends, with Zack holding a ring and hoping that all this drama was worth it. And as I see it, yes, this means it looks like we're going to see a happy ending. Now back at the beginning of the season, Zack's journey for love was marketed as a return to the traditional Bachelor love story. And, despite everything that happened in the last episode, I think that's mostly what we'll get. Of course, it will all be a little tainted by the fantasy suite mess, but I doubt Zack's proposal will be declined. However, what's more more interesting to me is the after the final rose. Because, at least from an outside perspective, Zack's decision making for fantasy suites in the finale seems to be so riddled with guilt based reactions. I often wonder if Zack's choosing to do what he thinks other people would say is the right thing and not the thing that's actually honest to what he wants. His no sex vow being the prime example of that. So, coming out of all this to the real world could be a hard dose of reality, and the four or so months since filming ended could actually be even harder than what we're seeing at the end of this season. That being said though, Zack did look very happy and willing to joke about all this stuff at the women tell-all. So that leads me to believe that he's happy and still with the person he picked. But I guess take my words lightly as I also thought that meant he wasn't going to make as much of a mess of fantasy suites as he did. So maybe he just has a good poker face. But if Zack does get engaged, who's he going to pop the question to? Well, before last week I'd have thought it was an easy Katie. Now though, everything is muddled. But we do get a clue. Check out these two clips. One from last week's preview and one from the mid-season one. Coming into this, I wanted to do the right thing. I went with my head, not my heart. And that was the worst thing I could have done. I've caused pain and I've made mistakes. <laughs> My mind and my heart have been pulled in separate directions. So Zach describes the mistake of going with his head and not his heart. I'm guessing he's referring to fantasy suites there. And then, for the finale, he brings it up again. This time saying his mind and his heart have been pulled in two different directions. I wonder if Gabby is his head choice and Katie is his heart choice. 
Gabby being the one his mind tells him to stick by, the one he slept with in fantasy suites, and as a result, the one he might feel people would say is the right choice to stick by, but Katie, the one who seemed to be his frontrunner all season, the one he has incredible guilt with for going back on his word to, perhaps Katie is the heart pick. And while Zack says he went with his head and not his heart the first time, and that was a mistake, maybe the second time he's going to do the opposite, pick his heart, and propose to Katie. So that's it for this finale preview breakdown for The Bachelor Season 27. Thanks for sleuthing along with me this season, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts and theories down below, and subscribe to the channel as, even though we're at the end now, there's still a ton more content on the way. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take out. I've made mistakes, but standing here with the ring, I just hope that it's all worth it.